mismo parang the creative sa yung director, parang mga kumita yung person. Ano, ano bang style niyo? Can you share with us? Not really the typical PC. Typical yes, PC. yes. Uh, not everyone knows that I came from the coming of age genre nung, uh, nung naging hindi pa ako back in Sinamalaya. So I did animals, hashtag why. So sunay ako uh, working with young, uh, young actors. No? Uh, most like most most of the time you're starting palang. So I always tell them, no, uh, don't go far from what you know. Kasi syempre, college students sila. So ako naman, I don't want to uh, you know uh, limit their acting. I want them to do what they know. And of course, syempre, alam na nila yan. So sabi ko sila, just enjoy the role. So may nakikita ko mga bago, kapag nag improv sila, mas gumagala, so, nakakatawa yung scene, at mas nagiging totoo. That's why uh, I'm so excited for the Gen Zs to watch because they'll see a bit of themselves in each and every, each and every character. So you and of course our writers are very young as well. Na si Polly and si Simon and si Pupay and lumili tao talaga ang pagka Gen Z, de ba Gen Z? And what do you think sets this apart from the other? Because I want us to launch, I think, in the past two years, several team-oriented shows, some of them musically inclined. Uh, this one, what sets it, uh, this apart? This one is uh, produced also by Black Sheep. No? Uh, what we've seen from Black Sheep, um, uh, very edgy, you know, uh, out-of-the-box uh, uh, stories. And this one, talaga, magugulit kayo pag makita niyo. Just from the trailer alone and the making, uh, you see those things uh, even in the bathroom scene na, whoa, pwede pala yung makita sa TV no? or sa series. And for this one, uh, you know, the characters can swear, they can drink, uh, they have urges. So uh, let's see what happens uh, sa mga episodes natin. Very interesting. Aabangan namin yan. Ikaw, Jeno, may question na magustuhan nila before I call on our next media na magtatanong. Question, question. Um, Siguro for the whole cast or whoever wants to answer. Um, uh, what is like the, with your characters and everything? Um, ano yung um, hugot ninyo sa roles nyo that you play? And throughout the progression of the show, do we see your character evolve? Or stagnant pa siya? Or like, how do you take on this? Um, Ayan, Jello, bago so, minasagutin niya, we'd like to acknowledge on the presence of the head of ABS Bed Films, Mr. Chris Gasway. Sir, ayan, go ahead. Ayan, yung mga hugot ng characters nyo. Jada. Yeah, siguro, ano, I would start off with, uh, sobrang nagre-resonate ako kay Zoe. Uh, I would say na, you know, one of the driving forces with her is that she creates validation. And I think um, a lot of artists can relate to that. Na, yung feeling na yun na artists do crave for validation to a certain extent. And she just wants to be seen. She wants people to appreciate her for her talent. And, Sa totoo lang po, nakikita ko din yung mga aspects ng younger self. Kung po kay Zoe, um, yung kapal ng mukha ni Zoe, ganun din po ako ng bata ako. <laughs> so, yun, I would say yung personal hugot ko is, um, I really looked into my core as a person and seeing as how um, I could relate to her and hindi po uh, naging mahirap po yung para sa akin. And um, I guess I would say that it's, it's a really good... Um, character to really start with, hindi ko siya nanalayo ko sa personality ko po at sa mga goals ko and my, uh, yeah, my personality in real life. Yeah, thank you, Jayda, for sharing. Thank before you so much, Jayla, but before I proceed, we'd like to acknowledge the ABS-CBN head for digital, Sir Jamie Lopez! <laughs> Hello, Sir Jamie, thank you so much. Anyone else who would like to answer? Ano bang hugot niyo sa role? Ayan sa The Ad Zone, anong hugot niyo sa role? Ang character ko dito ay si Ice. Ang pinakahugot niya ay love is a scam. So, I love yan sa romantic or sa family or kahit kanino. So, ako naman kasi sa personal kong buhay, kapag ina-acte ko si... Pag Binibigyan kong buhay si Ay sa eksena. Hindi kasi talaga lahat ng pinagdaanan ko sa buhay ay tutugma sa script or pinagdaanan din ni Ice. 
So, may mga bagay na tinutugma ko siya kapag nakaka-relate ako. At may mga bagay na kinikilala ko talaga yung character. Bilipin ko yung kung anong relationship niya sa nanay niya o kay Zoe or sa bandmates niya. Kasi somehow nagbimetod dito. Kasi parang gumagawa kami ng connection off cam na hindi naman talaga kailangan sabihin sa amin. Kung baga nagkakaroon kami ng pusa na magkaroon ng connection and relationship sa isa't isa. Ayun po. Very nice. Masasabi mo bang love is a scam? Sa totoong buhay? Sa totoong buhay? <laughs> Siyempre, hindi ko din judge yung character ko kasi pinagdaanan niya yun. Nare-respect ko. Pero sa personal kong panahon ko, hindi naman scam ang love. Ramdam naman natin. Kami nga kinikilig. <laughs> Alright, sige. Bago natin ubusin yung mga tanong. I'd like to call uh, our second question from starcinema.com. We have Yumi Javier. Mayroon po naman. 